plants, plants, and more plants. Any plants in particular? That was Dr. Michael Greger, a renowned physician and author of How Not to Age Cookbook. Dr. Greger is a leading advocate for using the power of plants to achieve optimal health, particularly for the brain and memory. In this eye-opening video, he'll reveal how everyday spices and foods possess remarkable medicinal properties. Our focus today is on brain power and memory, and how diet affects cognition and dementia, particularly Alzheimer's disease. Get ready to embark on a culinary journey as Dr. Greger unveils the science-backed benefits of these natural wonders. From fighting inflammation to boosting immunity, you'll be amazed at the transformative power of your spice rack and pantry. Listen to Dr. Greger tell us about some plants which can assist in cognition and Alzheimer's disease. Note that the director of Loma Linda's uh, Alzheimer's prevention program single out berries and greens. Eating strawberries and spinach can mitigate age-related cognitive decline in rats. But what about in people? When the cognition of hundreds of twins was followed over a decade, consuming the berry pigments in less than a quarter cup of blueberries a day or about a cup of strawberries was associated with slowed cognitive aging by about four years. And nearly all the randomized controlled trials on blueberries and cognitive performance found improvements in at least one brain uh, domain, perhaps because blueberry consumption can improve, can improve blood flow to certain critical regions of the brain. Now, the one study that flopped mixed the berries with milk. And we know that the addition of milk can prevent the artery protective effects of tea and prevents the bump in antioxidants that you'd normally get eating dark chocolate and impairs the absorption of the autophagy activating compounds in coffee. What about mixing berries and cream? The antioxidant activity of blueberries is not just impaired by milk. Check this out. Researchers found that the total antioxidant capacity of our bloodstream, measured in two different ways, shoots up within an hour of eating a cup and a half of blueberries with water and remains elevated five hours later. With milk, maybe we'd expect like less of a bump, but in fact, they ended up Worse than when they started, after eating a whole bowl of blueberries, they ended up with less antioxidant capacity in their body because they ate the blueberries with milk. Thank you, Dr. Greger, for the tip about not using milk with my berries. What else can we use against Alzheimer's? One reason greens may be referred to as an anti-Alzheimer's plant is because dark green leafy vegetables can also improve blood flow in the brain in interventional trials, randomize older adults to the greens pigments found in a cup of days worth of cooked kale, and see significant improvements in complex attention, cognitive flexibility, and those randomized to even just half a cup of kale's worth of the cruciferous compound sulforaphane got significant improvements in processing speed and working memory. Here's the rate of cognitive decline in elderly men and women eating a serving a day of green leafies compared to those only eating greens about once every 10 days. Are you sitting down? The rates of decline among those who consumed one to two servings of greens a day was equivalent to being 11 years younger. So now are you sitting down to a big salad? Any foods to help with vision and our related diseases? Greens come up in chapter after chapter. What's the recommendation for preventing age-related macular degeneration, our leading cause of blindness, or even treating it in its earliest stages? Consume a diet high in green leafy vegetables. We're talking two to three servings a day, so at least greens at every lunch and supper with bonus points for sneaking them into breakfast and like a green smoothie. In fact, blending greens can triple the bioavailability of a key vision-protecting nutrient. Can greens affect our metabolism? The main reason greens make it into my anti-aging eight, though, is because of the nitrates. And a serving two of, of cooked greens can slow our metabolic rate for the same reason that a little shot of beet juice can help free divers hold their breath longer because it improves 
the efficiency of our mitochondria, the little power plants in our cells, allowing us to effectively extract more energy from each breath. Another dietary intervention that has a similar effect on slowing metabolism is calorie restriction. Right? The candle that burns half as bright burns twice as long. But instead of starving all the time, you can just eat a big salad. Here's a tip to help you eat more greens. Finely chopping your salad allows you to fit twice the volume on your plate. What else can greens do? The Harvard Nurses Health study, the consumption of leafy greens appeared to protect against the development of frailty. And when put to the test in a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trial, the equivalent of two-thirds of a cup of spinach led to a significant boost in muscle strength, muscle quality, and muscle mass in older men and women. A single cup of cooked greens worth of vegetable nitrates significantly boosted maximal power and velocity in quads so much it was functionally equivalent to acutely reversing the effects of several decades of aging. A single cup of cooked greens. So it's never too late to change your diet and experience anti-aging benefits. Are there any other foods? The nice thing about studying spices is you can, entire servings can be stuffed into a pill to pit them against placebo. A quarter teaspoon of black cumin powder a day led to significant improvements in memory and other tests of cognition within nine weeks compared to placebo. While you might be familiar with cumin, a common spice with warm, earthy notes used in many cuisines, Dr. Greger was likely referring to black cumin. Black cumin also known as nigella seeds, comes from a completely different plant family buttercup and has a distinct flavor profile. It offers a peppery, slightly bitter taste and is popular in Middle Eastern and South Asian dishes. Unlike cumin, black cumin is often used whole due to its stronger flavor. Both cumin and black cumin can be enjoyed whole or ground, but remember, black cumin with its potential memory benefits is what Dr. Greger had in mind. And less than a quarter of a teaspoon of ground ginger a day can beat out placebo for joint pain. Uh, researchers conclude ginger, therefore, is recommended as a safe drug for these patients. But by drug, they just mean a couple pinches of the ground ginger you can buy at any store. Uh, there was even a study on topical ginger, at least when applied to the scrotum. Paper-thin slices of ginger applied over the inflamed testicles, and the researchers were on the ball. <laughs> Healing nearly three times faster than the control group. <laughs> there have been... More than a hundred randomized control trials on ginger shown to help with nausea and vomiting and everything from COVID to PMS, heavy periods, painful periods, migraine headaches, multiple sclerosis, and the list goes on. Bottom line, mounting evidence suggests ginger can promote healthy aging. Ginger, the anti-aging wonder drug, food, and spice. Any other foods? Black sesame seeds, less than a teaspoon a day of ground black sesame seeds stuffed into capsules against placebo drove down systolic blood pressures by about eight points within a month. If sustained, that alone could decrease the risk of stroke by about a quarter. For easy preparation, use a small coffee grinder to quickly transform black sesame seeds into a fine powder. How about garlic? What about garlic? clinically proven to protect against those who want to suck your blood. Literally, 100 Marines were randomized to a clove a day or a placebo, and those on garlic had significantly fewer tick bites. Though, sadly, garlic does not appear to help against other blood suckers. Oh, that just sucks. Any other foods? Lots of other things can help whole fennel seeds powdered into capsules to pit them against placebo. In a double-blind trial, significantly improved menopausal symptoms at a dose of about a teaspoon a day. Fenugreek may also help at a dose of one and a half teaspoons a day, though not as much as hormones, but without the side effects. Though 
fenugreek can make your pee smell like maple syrup. Sounds like a bonus. Remember, your health is the lock, and we're here to provide the keys. Keep turning to Key Health for insights that unlock your full potential. The key to lifelong vitality is in your hands, it's just one bite away.